Hello and welcome you all to this new video on my channel Making IT Simple. Let us start with an example. You are in a restaurant and you order 5 different dishes that you need to try and they get served to you all together. Now you definitely cannot eat them all together. So what do you do is you start to eat one dish at a time. But what happens is until you come to the last dish that becomes cold and stale. So what's the solution on that? One solution can be that you eat two bites from the first dish. Then you shift to the second one. Take two bites from the second one. Then the third dish and so on up to the fifth one. After you taste the last one, again you take two bites from the first one and so on. This way you can taste each dish hot and fresh and you will enjoy each dish. Kind of similar to this is the working of round robin scheduling algorithm. Let us try to understand the concept in deep. The algorithm is designed for time sharing system where it is not necessary to complete one process and start another but to divide the time of CPU among the processes in ready state. What does that mean is if there are three processes each of four seconds a time quantum will be defined that is each process will get executed for how much time. Let us say it is 2 seconds. Then CPU will start execution of first one. After completing 2 seconds of execution preempt the execution and go on to second process. Start its execution and after completing 2 seconds of execution again preempt it and move on to third. Start its execution and after completing 2 seconds of execution again preempt. Now it will again come back to the process 1 as it has 2 seconds of execution left. This way it works in a cycle. That's why the name round robin scheduling algorithm because it works in a circular manner, round manner. And it forcibly stops the execution of current executing process so it is of preemptive nature. This is rather a simple example, let us understand with a more suitable example. Consider this table, it has 4 processes P1 to P4, arrival time and burst time of all 4 are given. Now let us see how the scheduling is done for round robin. In previous algorithms we just had one queue, the execution queue or Gantt chart. Now for the round robin we need to have 2 queues one for the execution queue that is the Gantt chart and another is the ready queue as the algorithm may get complex. Let the time quantum for the example be 2 seconds. So at 0th second which processes have arrived just one that is P1. So we write the process P1 in the ready queue. No other processes have arrived at 0 second. So P1 will be removed from the ready queue and added to the execution queue at the 0th second. Now it will not get completely executed for 3 seconds as there is a time quantum of 2 seconds. The algorithm will preempt the execution of P1 after 2 seconds. So its burst time left will be 1 second as 2 seconds got executed. Meanwhile P1 was getting executed, P2 and P3 arrived at 1st second and 2nd second. So they will be added to the ready queue in the order they arrived. Now at the second second, two new processes have arrived in the ready queue and P1 has been executed for two seconds in the running state. Now context switching will be done. That means the P1 will be removed from the running state back to the ready queue while saving its already completed two seconds of execution. As it is sent back to the ready queue, it will now get added after P2 and P3 because they are already there before. Now the next in line will be added to the running state that is process P2. Now at second second P2 will start being executed. It will also get executed for 2 seconds due to the time quantum. While that is being executed process P4 has arrived at 3 seconds. So it will be added to the ready queue at 3 seconds. After 2 seconds P2 will get context switch back to the ready queue 
and it is now left with 2 seconds of execution. And in 4 seconds, the next process in queue will be added to the running state that is P3. P3 will get executed for next 2 seconds. After 2 seconds, it has completed its execution as it had the burst time of just 2 seconds. So it will not be added back to the ready queue. Now next in the line of the ready queue is P1. It has 1 second of execution time left. Execution of P1 will start at 6 second and finish at 7 second. Again it will not be added back to ready queue as it has completed its execution. Now next in line P4 will be added to the queue. It also has 1 second of burst time. So it will be executed from 7 second to 8 second. It also has completed its execution. Now just the P2 is left with 2 seconds of execution. It will be added for the execution and executed from 8 seconds to 10 seconds. And now all the processes have been executed. Talking about the advantages and disadvantages, first advantage of the algorithm is fairness. The algorithm ensures that every process gets an equal chance to get executed. So there is fairness in the algorithm. Second advantage is that it is simple and easy to implement. As there are no complex rules and checks, only you need to assign each task the CPU turn by turn. There are also some disadvantages of using round robin algorithm. The first one is inefficiency with long tasks. If some tasks are very long and require a lot of time to finish, they still get just a small slice of time in each cycle. Another disadvantage is overhead of context switching. Every time the computer switches from one task to another, it takes time to save the state of current task and load the next one. If the time slice is very short or there are many tasks, this switching can take up a lot of time. So this is all about the round robin scheduling algorithm. We discussed the need of algorithm, working of algorithm, advantages and also the disadvantages. Hope you understood all the concept. If your doubts got cleared and you understood the concept, like the video. Share it with your friends, classmates, colleagues or any other person who needs help with this concept. And also comment down made it simple. And for more such simplified and amazing videos, subscribe my channel making IT simple and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos on the channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.